two, one. We have ignition. Welcome to ancient Greece. The Greeks believed the gods were like humans, falling in love, playing games, playing music, getting angry, arguing, and fighting. Ancient Greeks believed in different gods and goddesses. The Greeks believed these many mortals controlled everything in, in the world, in, in their lives, and in the world. We're going to write a few descriptions we have written a Greek god called Poseidon. The king of God's brother was called Poseidon, the aggressive and selfish god of the oceans. Some Greeks may say that he had a rotten temper and caused violent earthquakes. A mesmerizing and shimmering crown adorned his head with a hypnotizing ruby in the center. Pearly curly hair rests on his shoulders with a full beard. His shimmering eyes twinkled like glimmering stars in the bright night sky. His mighty muscular body stood tall as a soldier, but his human form stopped at his waist. We then went on to our animals, thinking about the hero, the mythical beast, and the overall plot. At the beginning of time, there was a powerful soldier called Decius. Sadly, his sister had been kidnapped by an evil king named as King Minos. Decius was heartbroken and made a promise to rescue his sister. There was no there was no doubt that the king would have taken her to the dark, frightening cave, which was guarded by a monstrous beast. The Pegasus um, um, the werewolf was a vicious beast that had the body of a werewolf. Slaying the monster was not an easy task. However, many warriors were never seen again. Even though Decius was a real strong man, he was still puzzled how to defeat that enormous monster. A young woman told him to venture to Mount Olympus to ask the gods for advice. Before we head to our next destination, let's take a trip to ancient Greek gymnasium so we can show you the exercises we have explored in science and PE and what muscles they use. Miss Malcolm and Mr. Hunt, please can you come up on stage so we can demonstrate these exercises? This is an ammonite. It swims in the sea. When the ammonite dies, it falls to the bottom of the sea. The flesh part rots away and leaves a hard shell. 
Raise the sentiment, build up around the bones and turn into stone. When the bones are dissolved by water, it leaves an imprint on the rock. Fossils are the skull. In art, we also transfer pictures of fossils into pieces of paper using printmaking techniques. We, we explore two techniques. Monoprinting is a one-off printing technique that uses a sheet of carbon paper to transfer a unique design onto a sheet of paper. Relief printing is a process of printing from a from a blocked template where we carve the areas we don't we do not want to appear in our final piece of art. Oh, look at our sandstorm bro. We better head to our next destination. Well, as we have been learning about climates and biomes, let's visit a few and explore what it would be like to live there. A biome describes the climate, plants and animals of a particular place. Hello there, I'm going to talk about the tundras of the windy, cold and dry. Sometimes the soil is permanently frozen and there are no trees at all. I'm a rainforest biome. A rainforest biome is a biome that's Hot and well all year round. The hot and wet conditions make it perfect for all sorts of plants to grow. You find half of the different types of animals that live on that. Hi, I'm a savannah biome. The giraffe and zebra live in a biome called the savannah. You can see that it's hot and dry with very little rain. Where would you like to be? As a part of this book, we learned about consonants. Here's a song we use to help us. There's one for you, Mr. Quinn. <laughs> Continents, there's seven in all. And if we get the gist, we're gonna make a list from biggest to small. They are Asia, Africa, North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Asia, Africa. South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Hey, my name is Asia, and more than half of the world is here, but forever. South America with animals below where the rainfall is grows because the rain really pours. Now you, you're welcome for the first to be so welcome I'm Australia, so I'm coming to Oceania. I got a lot of islands, too many to explain to you.
shoot out the time? First of all, the hour hand is on the nine and the minute hand is on the three. This must mean it is 15 minutes past the hour. Well, isn't it great that we have been learning how to tell the time in class as we would be laid back? Ms. George, you won't be pleased if we don't win this graduation trophy this week. <laughs> Thank you for watching our class assembly. Now we would like you to reflect on how lucky we are to be part of our wonderful school community that supports us in our learning journey. Ah. Uh -huh.